Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. So today I have waited way too long to put this video up, but better late than never. We are ranking my tenant moisturizer. So I wanted to get this video up sooner in the summer, but it's okay because we still have a lot of heat left <laughs> in this summertime. And if you're a person who just really enjoys tenant moisturizers throughout the year, you will definitely find this video helpful. I will be sharing with you 12 tenant moisturizers that I have, recommending them to you based on their shade range, how they wear on the skin, of course, the finish of the tenant moisturizer, who I think they are best for and all of that good stuff so definitely stay tuned for all of that thank you so much for taking time out of your day and spending it with me i truly do appreciate it and if you are new i would love for you to consider subscribing yes subscribe join the glam girl squad and let's just get right into this video we have my newest tinted moisturizer the amico lay this is the skin enhancing tint and I have mine in the shade medium too. So this skin tint does retail for $32 and it does come with a standard one fluid ounce of product. If I do have reviews for any of the skin tints that I'm talking about, I will link them down below so that you can check them out because this of course is gonna be more of a quick summary of the skin tints. Okay, so this skin tint does come in six shades. The shade that I have is medium too. This particular skin tint is probably the second to the last and the sheerest one that I own. It is incredibly sheer. I'm talking, when I first tried it, I was just like, did anything, did I put anything on? Um, this is what it looks like rubbed into my skin. You can also see that this particular skin tint is a little light for me, but because it is so sheer, I can make it work. So that is what the skin tint looks like rubbed into the skin. It has a nice, really pretty glow to it. And like I said, this is legit a tint. <laughs> like it is a tint. In terms of its shade range, this particular skin tint is only going to work for people who have, um, I would say tan to deeper complexions. This one was made for people of color. And so definitely take that into consideration when you are looking at any of these skin tints. Some of its claims is that it's going to create a blur effect without masking your skin. It's going to have a breathable formula and you will feel like you're wearing nothing. It's going to nourish and hydrate the skin and it has six flex six flexible shades. This skin tint, I liked it, but I definitely was expecting more from it based on how hyped up it was. So yes, it it's still kind of new to the market, but when I learned about it, it was very new to the market. And I was looking at videos and people were like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. And y'all know me, I love me some foundations and everything like that. So I started getting really excited. I didn't really see a blurring effect on my skin and for me, it was just like, okay, this is nice. It looks like I put like a really nice moisturizer on. Um, also, with the shade being a little light, I felt like it was a little apparent on my skin that it was a little too light. So, this is not my favorite skin tint. I do think it is really nice, and I think it probably will work for other people. But for me, I think I was just looking for more. Like I said, based on how much it was hyped up, and it's like, oh my God, I've never tried a skin tint like this. And when I put it on, and I wore it a few times even before I reviewed it, I was just like, this is nice. But like, I, I just, I was expecting more. <laughs> we have the Chanel, this is Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. It does retail for $65, and we get a total of the standard one fluid ounce. I wear the shade Medium Deep, and in this particular skin tint is very interesting. So as you can see when looking at it up close, you have these beads of pigment inside of the skin tint and what you're supposed to do it comes with a brush that you're supposed to use with it you are to put it on your skin and as you can see it's very liquidy and then when you rub the skin tint into your skin with the brush the rubbing of the skin tint will break up the little pig the uh, beads of pigment and you'll see an actual color and I, and i hope you all can see that color that i see 
um, cause I can see it as well. So this one is really unique in how it works and it actually does provide some light coverage. So when I've worn this before and I've had some redness around my nose, I can see that the redness is dulled and my skin does have like this overall fresh look. So I will say this is probably my most unique type of tinted moisturizer just in how it's formulated and then it actually does add some coverage, very light coverage, but it adds some coverage. There are eight shades. It says that this is a light to medium coverage type of product that has a gel texture and it's going to be lightweight in formulation. It's going to be derived 75% of water and then it's got other types of um, plant-based ingredients that are going to moisturize the skin, provide comfort, and of course leave the skin feeling refreshed and energized. So I really enjoy this skin tint. I definitely feel like this is a more luxurious type of skin tint because of course it's Chanel. It retails for $65. We do have eight shades and medium deep is the second to the deepest shade. So I would say that if you are, I know um, Victoria James, Vicky J, she has this, I believe she has the shade deep and this actually does work for her so if you are deeper than her this wouldn't be a product that you can use but if you are up to her complexion then you might be able to find a shade that will work for you i really do like the wear of this particular skin tint i do only really use this if i'm not trying to put on a lot of makeup because with this one and also the amico lay i've noticed that if i try to wear a concealer that is more than just like very light coverage my face looks very unbalanced because the concealer has more coverage and the skin tint on the rest of my face doesn't really look like I'm wearing anything. However, I do feel like I get more coverage from the Chanel than I do Amico Lake, just to give you an idea of where the coverage stands. Coming in at number 10, we have a Becca. So this is the Becca Light Shifter Doing Tint tinted moisturizer. It does now retail for $15. So it did retail for $30, but as we all know, our beloved Becca is going out of business and basically about a month, month and a half. So we're now seeing their products go on sale. So this does retail actually for $15 and we get a standard one fluid ounce of product. It does come in eight shades and the shade that I have is Light Year 4. There are three shades that are deeper than the shade that I do have. So I think for a tinted moisturizer and for eight shades, they did pretty, pretty good. Um, you can still pick this up on the Becca website and I've seen it at other retailers, but I know that some retailers have already sold out, like Sephora doesn't carry this anymore online, might be in your store. So if you are interested in this one, definitely just look around because there are still some available. So with this one, this is really, really pretty. I never did a dedicated video on it and I think it was just because I felt like I missed the mark in timing and I don't know why I felt that way, but I did. But I wore this a lot. I actually wore it one time for my maternity pictures. I was supposed to take them on one occasion and we ended up not being able to take them that day, but my base was this product. It's so glowy. It is so beautiful on the skin. I think this one definitely has like a light to maybe medium type of coverage to it and it is just beautiful. So Becca says that this is a sheer tinted moisturizer that illuminates skin with an ultra dewy finish and moisturizes instantly. If you have dry skin and you need a dewy, dewy tinted moisturizer, this one is it. I would definitely say that if you have even maybe even combination skin, you might not like this because this brings the glow, the glow that I love, but the glow that I know everybody doesn't love. As a matter of fact, sometimes this is a bit too glowy for me if I'm trying to have something that will kind of last all through the day. Um, the glow is real, but it is beautiful. So if you have normal skin, if you have dry skin, depending on your preferences with dew, you might not wanna set this, but I would probably suggest that you set it simply because it is extremely dewy. And of course, the more dewy the product is, the more it's gonna transfer. The longevity of this product, I would say it's probably about six hours it's not too long just because it is more dewy of course if you set it with powder it will last longer but i don't think this is a skin tint that's going to get you you know eight plus hours of wear without you seeing it wear off um but because it is a skin tint when it does wear off it doesn't wear off patchy or anything like that but i really do enjoy this one i just know that this one is probably not going to accommodate a range of 
uh, skin types just because it is extremely dewy. To follow up with Le Beige, I would say that this one has a more natural-like finish to the skin, so it's not too dewy and then it's obviously not gonna be too dry. And Amigo Lay, I say this one will be a little more dewy than the Chanel, but this still will look a little more natural-like versus overly dewy. So far, the Becca Skin Tint is going to be extremely dewy with all the shine and glow. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but just to let you know. Next, we have the Makeup Forever Water Tone Skin Tint. This does retail for $37. It comes in 16 shades, and we get a total of 40 milliliters of product, which is a little more than the standard one fluid ounce. This particular foundation, I do wear the shade Y434. So this particular skin tint is supposed to replace the Makeup Forever, I think it was like water foundation or like water something. The name was quite similar. I remember a lot of people loved that one. I didn't get a chance to try it before they did discontinue it, but this one is very water-based as the name does imply. When you actually shake it up, you can hear the water base um, when you shake it up. Some highlights of the foundation is that it's light coverage, it's hydrating, it has liquid formula. Um, it's good for dark circles, fine lines, and wrinkles. There's a radiant finish and it's good for dryness. So when I wore this water tone foundation, I really did enjoy it. I really do feel like this gave a flawless finish to the skin. Although it is a more hydrating type of formula and it did say that it was gonna leave a radiant finish on the skin, it is not overly radiant. So I do feel like this is a skin tint that could really work for all skin types in terms of dry, normal, oily, and combination skin. I really enjoyed how my skin looked at, at the end of the day when I did wear this one. Like I said, it just looked a little flawless. It looked a little more perfected, but it didn't look like it, you know, completely covered my face. I felt like I was wearing a skin tint. It was very lightweight, but I did get some pretty good coverage for it being a skin tint. And I really enjoyed this one overall. I think it does have really nice long wear as well, especially for it being a skin tint. So definitely think this is one to check out. Coming in at number eight, this one has the largest shade range of all the skin tints that I'm gonna talk about. And we've got the Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. It does retail for $29.50 and it comes in 1.08 ounces of product or 32 milliliters of product. So this one is going to be, if I can say my most natural looking on the skin. This particular skin tint, initially I, I didn't really care for it too much because there was no radiance to it. And when I think skin tint, I think radiance, I think glow, I think dewy, I don't think just natural and like no do. But after wearing this one for some time, I have grown to really like it and really enjoy it. So this is a skin tint that I think would actually work better if you have normal combination and oily. Just because there is no radiance to it, there is no dew to it, and if you don't like for your skin to look more natural, I don't want to say matte, but just you know, very skin-like with no radiance, you may not like this. So depending on if you have dry skin and how your dry skin looks and how you like to manipulate your bases, this may or may not be the one for you. When I have worn this one, I have definitely worn this one on days where I know I'm gonna need it to be long wearing, whatever my base is, and I know it's gonna be hot. This gets the job done. It's definitely gonna check off all the marks in terms of it being long wearing. It's going to be, I would even say, for the most part, sweat resistant because I have worn this outside when I'm sweating and it's still on my face. I think this one provides a nice, solid, light, medium coverage, maybe even medium, depending on how much you apply. And I really like the packaging and just the overall presence of this skin tint. I've, like I said, I really have come to enjoy this one. I wear shade 13. I think I could go a little deeper in this particular shade, um, but shade 13 does work for me as well. So I really have enjoyed this one. I think this one is really nice. And if you can wear this formulation, and like I said, I know with, um, especially with Fenty foundations, a lot of them are not geared toward people with drier skin. 
Um, but if you can wear the formulation in terms of it not being too dry for your skin, I think this is definitely one to have in your arsenal for these hot days um, because it is quite long wearing. Coming in at number seven, that's my number in Delta. So this one is special. <laughs> This next one actually does have the largest shade range. It has more than Fenty. I didn't realize it until I just looked at the shade range. We have the Ilia. This is the Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. It comes in a whopping 30 shades and it retails for $48 and we get a total of the standard one fluid ounce of product or 30 milliliters of product. This particular skin tint is Oh, it is some dewy, juicy goodness on my skin, and I love it. So first, I do want to address the shade range because I think for 30 skin tints and the way that these shade ranges look, they did an excellent job. You can literally look at the shade range on Sephora's website and see all of the different undertones, and you can see that this one does span pretty deep on the complexion spectrum. So kudos to Ilya for attempting to really give us a good shade range for a skin tint. This one is the first uh, skin tint that I'm talking about that does have an SPF, and so like I said, it has an SPF of 40. Some high points of this particular skin tan is that it's oil-free. It, this is a clean at Sephora brand. It is fragrance-free. It has hyaluronic acid in it. And like I said, it does have an SPF in it. So this is one where I normally wear this one when I'm going to be outside <laughs> at the pool or at the beach because of the glow that it gives. It's like the perfect sun-kissed, glowy, summer goodness type of skin that I could ever ask for. I also like that it does have a pretty good coverage of SPF, so that's another reason why I do wear it if I'm gonna be out in the sun, like at the beach or at the pool where I'm going to be in the sun. And this is quite light in its coverage, so you're not gonna get a ton of coverage from this particular skin tint. I would say you're gonna get like light coverage. But just to give you an idea of like its dewiness, there is the skin tint right there. And as you can see, it is a very, very dewy. It's for the most part almost blended into the skin. Um, this particular shade that I have, this is the shade Kamari. It is orange based. So once blended into the skin it works fine and normally when i'm wearing this one i am out in the sun so it really does look nice in the sun but this is not a skin tint that i would wear like if i were going out and when i say going out like going out through the day and i wanted to put on like a skin tint and a concealer once again it has very very light coverage on par with the mika lay or the chanel Le beige so for me this skin tint looks best worn alone and and so you can see its radiance and its glow or i've heard of other people who really enjoy mixing this skin tint with the foundation that is thicker to kind of thin it out and then also give it a nice glow i love this one and i'm putting it higher in the ranking because of how healthy my skin looks and just the glow that it gives it's just im impeccable like i have worn this one every summer for that particular reason and i it is a personal favorite i know it's not going to be a, a favorite for everyone but it ranks at number seven for me for what it does and, and for just how good it makes my skin look so next coming in at number five i just realized that i said i had 12 tinted moisturizers and i only have 11. <laughs> so um, this whole ranking has been off Y'all forgive me, I'm filming this actually pretty late at night, so I've got a little bit of foggy break. This is number five. The last one was number six, not number seven. It's okay though, y'all stay with me. All right, so coming at number five, we have the Smashbox. This is the Halo Healthy Glow Tinted Moisturizer with an SPF of 25. This does retail for $38. It comes in 12 shades and we get a total of 1.4 fluid ounces or 40 milliliters of product. Y'all, this one, is beautiful on the skin. You really do get a beautiful, radiant, healthy glow. It actually has really good longevity on the skin and it's not too dewy. I do think that if you had combination and oily skin, you almost might be able to enjoy this one. If of course you went in with like a mattifying primer and used your powder. Um, when I did my full day wear test with this one, I had like a little bit of dew around my nose, but it wasn't anything overwhelming. Um, some other high points of this particular tinted moisturizer is that it has hyaluronic acid in it. It is vegan and it is hydrating. And like I said, it has an SPF of 25. I was actually really impressed with this particular tenant moisturizer, just with how like 
supple my skin looked, how radiant it looked, but it also didn't look greasy and dewy. And it just wore beautifully. I wear the shade medium tan in this particular skin tint. And like I said, it has 12 shades. And I think for the 12 shades, they actually did pretty good in this one. I would say this one and also the Ilia um, and the Fenty have the, um, if I could say, the most comprehensive type of shade range so far in the skin tints that I've talked about. But I'm placing this one higher on the list just because it provides nice coverage i would say i can get light to light medium coverage from the skin tint it really makes the skin look beautiful i think if you are looking for a shade you would probably have a good chance of finding a shade with this one um, and it just wore very nicely on the skin. Coming in at number four is what I'm actually wearing on my face. This is Lancome Skin Feels So Good Hydrating Skin Tint with an SPF of 23. This one does retail for $35 and we get 1.08 ounces of product or 32 milliliters of product. And we do get 15 shades in this particular skin tint. This one is so beautiful on the skin. So I think this one is probably next to another one that we haven't talked about. This one probably gives you the most coverage for it being more of like a skin tint. This one I think leans more into the foundation category, but it still falls under the skin tints, tinted moisturizer category for me and it's beautiful so i think for this one you could really get maybe like a good medium coverage with this one and it's very long wearing in its formulation it looks very smooth and beautiful on the skin it doesn't look like i'm wearing anything heavy on the skin but i do have some pretty solid coverage it has a radiant finish it is hydrating, it's oil-free, and it does have a cream formula. So that cream formula, I think, is what's going to give us more coverage because the formulation is not liquid. And so it does have just a little thicker of a consistency, but it does blend beautifully into the skin. I really enjoy this one, and this is a skin tint that I wear when I want to wear like a skin tint with some coverage. Um, I think it looks very beautiful. The shade that I have is 08 in Honey. It is slightly deep for my complexion, and I would say with this shade range overall, the shade range leans more neutral. So, if I would have gone a shade lighter, it would have been too light. So this is the one that I went with, but as you can see, it blends out nicely. I am wearing concealer. I'm wearing Pat McGrath's concealer. So I think this one works really nice with a nice solid coverage concealer. It doesn't look like too stark, like I'm wearing this full coverage concealer with nothing on my face. So I really enjoy this one. This is so, so beautiful on the skin. Coming in at number three. So we are down to the top three and this one probably has no business being at three this one is at number three solely because of how it makes me feel and how i feel like my skin looks with it we have la mer <laughs> this is the radiant skin tint spf 30. this one does retail for a hundred dollars i think it's like 95 dollars on the la mer website so there's a, a little bit of a discrepancy there, um, but basically $100, it does come in seven shades and it, and it does have 1.4 fluid ounces or 40 milliliters of product. I wear the shade Medium Deep 50 and this just looks like heaven on my skin. I love putting this skin tint on, honestly, after I put on my moisturizer and my SPF, I'll put this on and I just rub it in with my hands and Oh, it looks so beautiful on my skin. I don't like to use my hands at all when I'm putting my when 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 I'm applying my base. Even if it says like use your hands, I'm like mm, I'm gonna use a brush. But this, I really enjoy putting this on with my fingers, blending it into the skin and like warming the product up with my fingers. I have applied this on with a brush to get a little bit more coverage. And this is what I like to wear when I literally just wanna put something on my skin and be out the door. The radiance that it just kisses my skin with is impeccable. The shade range, not good at all. Not gonna lie to you. Like I said, this probably based on like its stats, this needs to be lower <laughs> in the ranking, but I can't deny how much I truly do love this skin tint. 
like I said, how it makes my skin look. My skin always looks very fresh. It always looks alive and healthy. If for some reason my skin is kind of going through and it looks dry in certain areas or I just feel like my skin, it looks like troubled, you know, like like right now, if I were to come in a little closer, I'll come in a little closer so y'all can see. Maybe you can't see. But like I've got breakouts all along on my face here. I've got texture down here. Like I feel like my skin does need a good exfoliation, which it does. I'm gonna try to do one tonight. But this is a skin tint that I can put on top. And like, it just kind of, I feel like it's telling my face, like, it'll be okay. We're, we will heal you. We will get you back to where you were. So for the healthy ingredients that are in this particular type of skin tint, you know, it's Lumiere's Miracle Broth. It does really work well for my skin. And like I said, the way that it leaves my skin, it is just beautiful. It wears off so nicely. So I wore it a couple days ago, put it on my skin in the morning. And by that evening, it had worn off, but you could not tell at all. There was no patchiness. I just love it. I can't stop using it. And like I said, I know it should probably fall lower in the ranking, but I can't deny how much I love it and what it does for my skin. And so that's why this is coming in at number three. Number two, this skin tint, Tinted Moisturizer, is just bomb.com. It is one for everybody. Normal, dry, combination, oily skin. There's a really nice shade range. It is just the bomb.com. And we've got the NARS. This is a pure radiant tinted moisturizer, broad spectrum SPF 30. It does retail for $45 and we get 1.9 ounces of product, the most product out of all the skin tints that I've talked about. And we get 16 shades. I do wear the shade Santiago, which is medium deep one. And y'all, this is just flawless on the skin. So we get really nice coverage for this to be for this being a tinted moisturizer. Um, it's kind of like long home. It says that there's light coverage, but I think we get we can get a nice medium coverage with it. Of course, if you apply less, then you will get more of a light coverage. Um, it has a hydrating formula, but it is not overly dewy. And I've seen people who have oily skin truly enjoy this skin tint. So it's hydrating, but not dewy. It also has a cream formula, which like the long comb, I think that is what provides the extra coverage because the formulation is not liquidy and light or water-based. This is beautiful. It is flawless. It like covers the skin without covering the skin very long wearing like i cannot sing its praises and nars for me is one of my favorite foundation formulations and also my favorite for the shades that i do wear in nars it just hits all the marks like if i were to like rank my favorite foundation brands maybe i should do that should i do that leave a comment down below if if um, you'd like to see my favorite foundation brand ranking I think I might do that video, so I can't tell you where NARS would fall, but I will tell you this. NARS is like one of my favorites. I'll just say that. Like, so when I saw that this was coming out, I slept on this for a very long time. I didn't pick up the original formulation, and then they kind of rebranded it, and what they did was they added more shades, and I want to say they improved the formulation. Don't hold me to that, but I do know they added more shades. So when that came about, I did try it, and I was like, why did I sleep on this so long? This is a good, like Sonia G says, a good workhorse <laughs> type of product because it gives you all that you need in terms of hydrating the skin, making your skin look beautiful and healthy, but it doesn't do too much to the skin in terms of it looking dewy. It's long lasting. For me, if I don't wanna set this, I don't have to, but I do set it sometimes so that it can last longer throughout the day. It doesn't look dry. I mean, it just gets the job done. I would say out of all of the tinted moisturizers that I'm recommending, if you are unsure of which one you should try first, I would say let NARS be one of the first that you try because I think you really will enjoy the formulation. I think you will have a really good chance of finding a shade that could work for you. And I just think it will do what you think you want it to do. Does that make sense what I'm trying to say? I hope it does. Um, so I love this one. Can't say enough good things about this one. And now for number one. So my number one favorite skin tint one of my favorite foundations of all time has to be 
the Kosas Tenant Face Oil. This one does retail for $42. It comes in the standard one fluid ounce and it comes in 16 shades. I wore the shade 7.5. I have had a long lasting love affair with this skin tint and I just, I just cannot. So this skin tint is different from all of the skin tints that I've talked about because this actually does have an oil in it, but the oil is very lightweight. It absorbs very quickly into the skin. And ironically, you do not look extra oily and dewy at the end of the day. So it's one of those oils that is truly just there to hydrate the skin and moisturize the skin. It gives you one of the most beautiful glows that you could ever ask for. Like Kelsey told me, she was like, that is my favorite foundation on you because it literally marks you as the glow queen. And I was like, I would have to agree with you on that. So it has medium coverage. So this is the one skin tint that actually does state that you can get up to medium coverage and you can. Um, it's a liquid formulation. The brand is clean at Sephora and also it leaves a satin finish. So when I wear this skin tint, I literally just, I like the glow from within me comes outside and it is gorgeous. I cannot tell you how pretty it is on the skin. I would say too, just like I said for the NARS, if you are interested in this one, give it a try. If you have oily skin, give it a try. It might be too oily for you, but don't let the oil fool you. Because like I said, it's not an oil that's gonna sit on top of the skin. It's not an oil that's going to then make you look even more oily at the end of the day or like even two hours in. It's an oil that is there to hydrate the skin. And when I tell you, your skin glows, oh, your skin glows. But it is a healthy glow, it's not a dewy glow. For instance, the Becca skin tint is a dewy glow. Like, for me even, like I said, for me even sometimes this is a bit much for me because it is truly dewy. This is literally hydration in a bottle. I love the shade range as well. I think you can do really well with trying to find a shade range in this particular skin tint as well. Um, and my skin has never reacted to the oil. There's a lot of different oils in this particular skin tint. So just to read off a couple, we have jojoba seed oil, avocado oil, and we have camellia olifera seed oil. So just to give you a couple of oils that are in this particular um, skin tint. Of course, you can look at the ingredient list to see all of the oils, just to make sure that there are oils that are compatible for your skin. But these are oils that are truly, like I said, lightweight. It never has felt ever heavy on my skin. And every time I wear this, I'm just like, I don't wanna wear anything else. This is truly by far my favorite skin tint, hands down. Like when I was doing this ranking, I literally was like, and you're number one. And then I had to organize the rest of them. I love this skin tint. I think it's just impeccable in its formulation. And I and, and like I said, give it a try if you're in the market and you're looking for a skin tint and you want a really beautiful glow to the skin, give it a try. It may not work for you and that's fine, but I think it is one that is worth trying that you could potentially truly love just as much as I do. So guys, that is my ranking. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what your favorite skin tint is because I have not tried them all and you guys know me, I love me some base products. So leave me down in the comment section your favorite skin tint. Let me know if you guessed what my number one skin tint was. I don't think I've ever really talked about that being my favorite. So. I don't know if you all would have been able to guess it, but if you did guess it, let me know because some of y'all do know me very well. And if you made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.